So you want to become a cloud engineer with no experience. The brutal truth, most people fail. They waste years taking useless certifications and never landing that high paying job. How do I know this? Because I was almost one of them. But then I cracked the code. In just a few years, I went from absolute beginner to pulling in $20,000 a month. No connections, no fancy degree, just a proven system that actually works. If you're watching this, chances are you are where I was a few years ago. Maybe you're feeling stuck in your current job or you're just starting and the world of tech seems overwhelming. Well, I've got good news for you. I'm sharing the guide that I wish I had when I was first starting out. But before we dive in, do me a quick favor. I want you to check out my daily cloud newsletter and join over 5,000 readers who are accelerating their cloud journey. And for just a limited time, I'm giving away a free 52 page beginner's guide on the cloud. All you have to do is sign up to my newsletter and go through the checkout. It won't cost you a penny. Now, before we jump into how to become a cloud engineer, Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. What exactly is cloud engineering and why is it such a big deal? Imagine the internet as a vast ocean. Now picture cloud engineering as massive cargo ships sailing across the ocean, carrying precious data and powerful computing resources. These ships can dock at any port or device around the world, delivering exactly what is needed and when it's needed. The captains of these ships are the major cloud providers, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP. These tech giants have built massive networks of data centers across the globe, allowing businesses to rent computing power and storage instead of building their own expensive infrastructure. Now, why should you care about all of this? Well, according to Gartner, a leading research firm, cloud engineering is a $600 billion industry and it's growing fast. We're talking about a 20% increase year over year. And that means two things. Firstly, companies are investing heavily in the cloud. And secondly, they need skilled professionals to manage it all. And that's where you come in. So what does a day in the life of a cloud engineer look like? Well, it's never boring. I can tell you that much. One day, you might be designing a network architecture for a startup that's expecting their app to go viral. The next, you can be optimizing data performance for a Fortune 500 company, handling millions of transactions per second. You'll wear multiple hats, part architect, part problem solver, part security expert. You'll build virtual machines, set up auto-scaling groups, implement security best practices, and troubleshoot issues that pop up along the way. But here is the thing, being a cloud engineer isn't just about technical skills. It's about being a translator between the world of tech and the world of business. You need to understand not just how to build things in the cloud, but why you are building them and how they impact the bottom line. To succeed in cloud engineering, you need to master several key skills. Don't be overwhelmed by the list because every expert was once a beginner. Networking is crucial. You must understand how data moves around the internet. Security is key in the cloud. So get comfortable with encryption and access management. You also need to have database knowledge covering both SQL and no SQL systems. Now, while you don't need to be a fully fledged software developer, knowing a programming language like Python will be incredibly helpful. You also wanna familiarize yourself with at least one major cloud platform. AWS is a great place to start. DevOps concepts like CICD are must know topics for any cloud engineer, not to mention infrastructure's code. Tools like Terraform allow you to define your infrastructure using code. And let's not forget about AI because you need to have an understanding of LLMs and gen AI use cases for businesses. Now I know what you're thinking, Suleiman, this is a lot. How am I supposed to learn all of this? Well. 
don't worry because I've got you covered. We're going to break this down into manageable steps. Step one, master the fundamentals. Before you dive into cloud specific technologies, you need to have a solid foundation. Start with networking basics. Get comfortable with Linux is the operating system of the cloud and then learn some basic programming concepts. When I first started, I thought I could skip the basics and jump straight into the cool cloud stuff. Big mistake. I spent an entire weekend trying to debug a simple networking issue because I didn't understand subnets. Learn from my mistakes, don't skip the fundamentals. Step two is to choose a cloud platform. While it's good to be familiar with multiple platforms, I recommend focusing on one to start. As I mentioned earlier, AWS is a great choice for beginners. They have a free tier that lets you experiment without spending a dime and their documentation is top notch. Step three, get hands-on experience. Theory is important, but nothing beats hands-on experience. Start small, set up a virtual machine, create a simple website and host it in AWS. Build a basic database. Each project you complete is a step towards mastery. Here is a challenge for you. Try and build a simple photo sharing application using cloud services. Use object storage for images, a database for user information and serverless functions to handle the logic. It doesn't have to be perfect. The goal is to learn by doing. Step four, learn infrastructure as code. Infrastructure as code is a game changer in cloud engineering. It allows you to define your infrastructure using code, making it easier to version, replicate, and manage. Tools like Terraform and CloudFormation are essential in any cloud engineer's toolkit. Step five, dive into DevOps. DevOps practices are key in the cloud world. Learn about CI CD pipelines, containerization with Docker. These skills will make you invaluable to any team. Step six is to get certified. While certifications alone won't land you a job, they do validate your knowledge and look great on your resume. Start with the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, then move on to the Solution Architect Associate. These will give you a solid foundation and make you more attractive to potential employers. Step seven, build your portfolio. As you learn and build projects, Document everything. Create a GitHub profile to showcase your code. Build a personal website to display your projects. This portfolio will be important when you're applying for jobs, especially if you don't have any formal work experience in the field. Step eight, network and stay updated. The cloud landscape is constantly evolving. Join cloud communities, attend meetups and conferences, and also follow industry leaders on social media. Not only will this keep you updated with the latest trends, but it's also a great way to manage connections that could lead to job opportunities. Now I know what you're thinking, that sounds like a lot of work. Well, I hate to break it to you, but you need to work hard for the things that you really want in life. Anything worth having takes effort. And trust me, the payoff in the end is worth it. Because when I'm seeing the income coming into my bank, I know it was worth the sleepless nights and the hard work that I put in. The problem with people today is they're not willing to put in any work and they just expect the jobs and opportunities and the income just to come to them. That will never happen. Every successful person put in the work. So don't follow these fake gurus. Follow the people that inspire you. Follow the people that you wanna be like. Follow the people that are in positions that you want to be. If you wanna be a independent cloud engineer or run your own cloud security business, then follow someone who does that, who has that like me. If you want to be a cloud architect or a cloud engineer who works a simple nine to five cloud job, which is fine, then go follow them as well. I've been through those steps. I've been in the nine to five cloud engineer job. I've been in a freelance cloud engineer job. I am now running my own cloud security business. If you want to become like me and go through these steps, then 
watch these videos because I've got so much free content on how I did this on my YouTube channel. Now let's talk about some of the challenges you might face on this journey and how to overcome them. The first challenge is information overload. The world of cloud engineering is huge and it's easy to feel overwhelmed. The key is to focus on one thing at a time. Don't try and learn everything at once. Start with the fundamentals and then gradually expand your knowledge. Remember, it's a marathon and not a sprint. The second challenge is imposter syndrome. This is something we all suffer from at times and it's completely normal. You might feel like you don't belong, especially when you're just starting out. The secret to remember is that everyone starts somewhere. Even the most experienced engineers were once beginners. The only way you get rid of that feeling is by simply working harder. The third challenge you might have is lack of experience. Many job listings ask for years of experience. Don't let this discourage you. Focus on building projects and contributing to open source. This practical experience can be just as valuable as traditional work experience. And another challenge that you will have is rapid technological changes. The cloud world moves fast. New services and features are released constantly. The key is to focus on core concepts that don't change while staying curious about new developments. Make continuous learning a habit. Remember, Every challenge is an opportunity to grow. Embrace difficulties. They're making you stronger and more skilled with each passing day. All right, you've put in the work, you've built your skills and created some projects, maybe even earned a certification or two. Now it's time for the exciting, but maybe the scary part for some of you, landing your first cloud job. Firstly, I recommend you tailor your resume. Your resume is your first impression. Highlight your cloud projects, certifications, and even relevant skills. Even if you don't have professional experience, your personal projects and your learning journey are valuable. Quantify your achievements where possible. For example, build a scalable web application serving 10,000 daily users using AWS services. Next, you wanna build your online presence. In tech, your online presence is important. Make sure your LinkedIn profile is up to date and showcases your cloud skills. Your GitHub should display your best projects. Consider writing blog posts about your learning journey or even creating tutorial videos. This shows initiative and passion to potential employers. Then you wanna network, network, and network. Remember those meetups and online communities that we talked about, they're not just for learning. They are great for job hunting too. Many opportunities are never publicly posted. Building relationships in the industry can lead to referrals and inside tracks to job openings. After, you need to apply strategically. Don't just apply to every cloud job you see. Look for entry-level positions or internships that align with your skills. Consider roles like junior cloud engineer, cloud support associate, or even an intern role in DevOps. These can be great stepping stones to more advanced positions. Then prepare for interviews. Cloud engineering interviews can be intense. You'll likely face technical questions, coding challenges, and system design problems. Practice explaining complex concepts in simple terms. Be ready to discuss your projects in detail. And remember, it's okay to say, I don't know, but here's how I'd find out if you are stumped and stuck. Let me tell you about my first cloud job interview. I was nervous as hell. The night before, I barely slept going over AWS services in my head. The interview started with some basic questions, which I handled okay. Then came the dreaded system design question. They asked me to design a scalable web application on AWS. My mind went blank. For a moment, I thought about making up an answer, but instead I took a deep breath and said, can you give me a moment to think about this? I started by asking questions about the requirements. Then I began sketching out a basic architecture on the whiteboard, talking through my thought process. I didn't have all the answers, but I showed how I would approach problem solving. To my surprise, they were impressed. Later, I found out that they valued my ability to think through a problem more than having 
all the right answers. The lesson here is that it's not about knowing everything. It's about showing your problem solving skills and your ability to learn. So I've given you the no BS guide, but as we wrap up, let's take a quick look on the future of cloud engineering. Where is this field headed to? Firstly, we have multi-cloud and hybrid cloud. More companies are using multiple cloud providers or combining cloud with on-premise infrastructure. Skills in managing these complex environments will be in high demand. Next, we have edge computing. As IoT devices grow, the ability to process data closer to the source, i.e. at the edge of the network, is becoming crucial. Cloud engineers will need to understand how to build and manage these distributed systems. We also have, of course, AI and machine learning. Cloud providers are increasingly offering AI and machine learning services. Understanding how to integrate these cloud architectures will be a valuable skill. We also have serverless computing, the trend towards serverless architectures where cloud providers manage all the underlying infrastructure is growing. Mastering serverless concepts and services will set you apart. The future of cloud engineering is bright with endless opportunities for those willing to learn and adapt. Regardless of what you are interested in, there's a place for you in the cloud. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the basics of what cloud engineering is, to the skills you need, the challenges you'll face, even a glimpse into the future of the field. Remember, becoming a cloud engineer isn't just about learning a set of technologies. It's about developing a problem-solving mindset, embracing continuous learning, and being able to bridge the gap between technology and business needs. Yes, the journey will be tough. There will be times where you feel overwhelmed or even discouraged. But trust me, the rewards are worth it. Not just in terms of salary, although averaging over $150,000 dollars a year isn't bad, but in the satisfaction of building systems that impact millions of people. Not long ago, I was where many of you are now, dreaming of a career in the cloud, but unsure on how to get there. Today, I'm living that dream, and I'm here to tell you if I can do it, then so can you. So what are you waiting for? Take that first step, sign up to a free AWS account, start a small project, join a cloud community. Your future in the cloud is waiting. And hey, if you wanna accelerate your journey, check out my Cloud Engineer Academy, where you'll learn from someone who's running his own cloud business. The link is in the description. We offer comprehensive hands-on training to take you from complete beginner to job-ready cloud engineer. Thank you for watching, and remember to keep learning, keep building, and keep pushing forward. Your future self will thank you. And until next time, I'm rooting for your success.